So as you can see from the front of this Ford Ranger, it does look very aggressive. This car does have an aftermarket bumper, which just transforms the look of this car. This bumper is perfect for off-roading. As you can see, the tires can have enough grip if you are trying to go up mountains or small hills, or especially rocks. This bumper really does transform the look of this car. It also does have these aftermarket lights over here but either than that if this car just has a standard bumper it will just have the normal lights and stuff these lights they don't really work that well i will try my best to show you but they don't really work the best let me show you the lights from factory these lights are normal amber halogen lights they don't come with led lights so you do need to be aware of that so let me show you the lights, this is normal daytime running lights, park lights, headlights, brights, spotlights, indicators with the lights, and the indicators without the lights. So my apologies for that background noise. I don't know what that animal is. It's been doing that noise for a few days. I don't know what that animal is. So as you can see, those lights are quite good for its spec. They do illuminate the road quite well. However, if you do not have these aftermarket lights, it will just not be as bright as this car is. But I think you saw this, this lights do not work. So talking about fake grills, this car has no fake grills. As you can see, it's all real, only fake grill is over here, it's like a honeycomb. But even than that, it's quite nice. You have enough growth for 3.2 inline 5. Now talking about 3.2 inline 5, we will move on to the specs just now. As you can see, this bumper also does have some room for a tow bar. So if you do have a boat or something, and you want to put in the water, you just hook up a tow bar there and you hook up the boat trailer there so you can put it nicely in the water so it is quite a nice bumper it's quite strong steel it's quite nice so let's go over the specs of this ford ranger this one is a 3.2 tdci variant with a six-speed manual so these are the specs i will be reading out for it this is also the 4x4 variant there is other variants, but I'm only going to be reading the specs of this specific variant. So this car does have a 3.2 inline 5 turbo diesel engine, which produces 197 brake horsepower, or 147 kilowatts. This car also produces 417 newton meters of torque. It is quite a weak number considering it's only a 5 cylinder 3.2 liter engine. There is much more powerful cars at four cylinder, two liter even. But the facelift version of this does change things up with the new EcoBoost. This car goes zero to 100 kilometers in a swifty 10.9 seconds. And this car's top speed is 175 kilometers or 109 miles. This one is a four x four and this car weighs 2,158 kilograms or 4758 pounds so it is quite on the heavier side which does affect the fuel economy of this car as this car would average about 9.2 liters per hundred grams on the city and on the highway it can go as high as 13.1 liters per hundred kilometers which gives it a combined of 10.6 liters per hundred kilometers but just remember, fuel economy is measured by the way you drive. This car can tow 3,500 kilograms if the trailer you're towing has a brake. However, if it doesn't have a brake, it can only tow 750 kilograms. Finally, this car comes in a six-speed manual and a six-speed automatic. This one is a six-speed automatic. Now, the carbon footprint this car leaves is 281 grams a kilometer claimed by Ford and finally the retail price of this car is $21,904 in America, 316,000 Rand South Africa 
and in Europe 21,348 euros. So is this price worth for this car seven years after manufacturing? Wait until the further part of the video so you can see if this car is right for you. So this is the back of this Ford Ranger and as you can see it is quite a nice looking back. You do have your very nice looking 3D Ford badge. It does stick out from the tailgate. I think it's quite a nice design attention. It also does have a camera over here which is quite nice. So as the side of this car you do have some chrome over here on the handle. It does transform the look much more better looking compared to the black plastic that the XL has. So you also do have Vorsi right over there. It's a very nice dog. He's very cute. He does eat a lot of Vors. Quite nice. That's why he's named that way. Quite a nice dog. Very nice. So as you can see you do have your hand your you do have your tow bar right over there. So it is quite nice. You also do have rear parking sensors. So that, that is also quite nice. Since this is the XLT, you do have a much more better looking rear bumper in chrome to match the handles and this over here. You can also lock it with a key. It's quite good. So then the lights of this car, same as the front. These are normal halogen lights. So let me show you them. Normal daytime running lights, tail lights, brake lights with the lights, indicators with the lights, indicators without the lights, brake lights without the lights, and finally the reverse lights. So as you can see those eyes do look quite nice for Bucky. I think it's quite a nice design, just the three blocks. It's quite it's it's basic but it's a nice design. It is also quite high sitting from the back. You also do have a bar over here. So like if a small car crashes into it, it doesn't go below the car. Americans must be wondering, this is such a small pickup truck. But no, this is like one of the biggest buckies you can get in South Africa. This is not America people. So then this is the boot. As you can see, it's quite nice. It is rubberized. So it is quite a nice future. You do have some hooks in the bed, so that is quite a nice design standpoint. And you also do have a seat over here. So yeah, even that is really good looking. You, you do have hooks and stuff. Not many cars like this will have some hooks. You also do have a cigarette lighter at the back over there. If you do have a cooler box or anything like that. So yeah, you can also have a bry and sit over here. It's quite nice, especially with this bar over here. So this is the interior of this Ford Ranger XRT. And as you can see, it is quite nice, especially with these leather seats. I will get to that a bit later. Let me just turn off these lights. So let us begin with the center console. As you can see, you do have your small little radio screen right over there, it's quite cute. And then you do have all your radio controls right over there. Traditional Ford Iconic Generic. Then you do have your air conditioning controls right over there. Then you do have some storage right over there with two cigarette lighters. So as you can see, I've reviewed many ranges on this channel before. So if you're a subscriber, I'm sure you know what I'm going to say. But on the left side, you do have for your diff lock and for your helping to go downhill. And then on the right side, you can switch off your trash control and it does show if your passenger airbag is on or off. So it's quite a neat interior for a Bucky at this price. But there is a little bit better, like it's a very generic, it's, it's, not, it's not like a bad interior or anything like that. So let us begin with the AC right over there. So as you can see, let me see, let me just turn it on, okay. So as you can see, this is a dual temperature and it's fully automatic air conditioning. So it is a dual temperature, which does go up at 0.5 of degrees. 
lowest is 16, highest is 28. Then you also do have your fan speed. It does have a few levels over there. You have your automatic air circulation for your legs, your chest or your torso, or whatever it's called. And then for your windscreen right over there, you do have your AC button, AC max, an automatic mode and a power mode. You also do have your rear windscreen defroster and the shortcut to blow maximum amount of air on here. You, and you can also make the air circulate from the inside. So in the radio over here, yes. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so as you can see, it does have FM and AM, which is quite nice. And then you also do have for your auxiliary, which is your Bluetooth audio, your aux line in and yes that's quite nice and you also have for your cd which is also quite nice yeah it is quite good for a bucky you also do have a phone mode where you can phone from your phone so it can be easier to control yeah so then this is the other part of the center console as you can see you have some storage you do have your gear selector right over there, your drive mode selected right over there, two cup holders, manual handbrake, and an armrest. And then this armrest does have two levels. At the first level, it's a nice little piece of storage. Then on the second level, it's quite a deep storage. And yeah, there's, there's no cigarette lights or anything in there. You have two in the front. Even that is quite neat. Then this is the driver's side. As you can see, you have a very nice little differenti differentiation of analog and digital as you can see you do have your speedometer a rev counter fuel gauge and your temperature gauge so let me show you this digital display as you can see you do have your range or your distance to end uh, then you also do have your average fuel economy instant fuel economy average speed your temperature outside, uh, your trip A, trip B, and yeah. So it, is, it does display quite a lot of numbers, which is quite good. That's the steering wheel, this is quite a nice steering wheel. It is a leather steering wheel. You do have your radar controls on the left side and your cruise control on the right side. This is like the wild track steering wheel, quite nice. These are the stalks of this car. On the left side is for your wipers. And on the right side is for your indicators and lights. As you can see, this car does have automatic lights, which is quite nice. So it is sort of like the Wild Track, but it does miss the heated seats that the Wild Track has that this one doesn't. So then this is the other part of the driver's side. As you can see, you can move your lights up and down. You have a nice vent over there. You can close your mirrors. You have automatic mirrors right over there. And then you have some storage right over there. Quite cool, quite neat, quite easily accessible. This is the door panel. As you can see, you have a tweeter, speaker, chrome handle, full electric windows, and also a nice handle and some storage and a cup holder down there. So you're not missing out on much. This is the passenger side. As you can see, you have an AC vent, an airbag, cubby hole, and inside that cubby hole is nothing, it's just a cubby hole. So then talking about the seats of this car, these are vegan leather seats, yeah. It's quite good, it's nice. They are fully manually operated. They're not heats or anything like that, it's just seats. So they can move forwards and backwards manually, up and down for the driver's side then uh, forward and backwards so you can rest a bit you can also move your headrest up and down manually but yeah it's quite cool so then up here you do have your sunglass tray it is nice and padded you do have your traditional iconic Ford lights over there with your microphones on each side then you also do have your nice mirror right over there so then the sun visors of this car as you can see the driver doesn't have a mirror however the passenger does have a mirror same with the handles every single passenger does get a handle so it's quite neat something cool 
is that over here you don't have a handle but on the passenger side you do have a handle over here which means there's no airbag here this is how many airbags this car has right by my finger magic so yeah even that's quite nice talking about the quality you have a plastic dashboard over here some plastic here leather reds here plastic plastic so it is quite a lot of plastic going on in here but it's a bucky i'm not sure you would really care about that but if you like me i do like a nice self touch dashboard but if the car does its job well and puts a smile in your face that's the most important thing so this is the back of this ranger and as you can see i do have quite a good amount of legroom at the back here for a double cab i'm really surprised how much legroom i have it's like an suv so let us begin with the center console as you can see you do have some storage right over there and you also do have a cigarette lighter right below it quite nice quite standard then you also do have your armrest right over there with your two cup holders However, since this car does have a cigarette lighter, yeah, it is quite good. It's quite nice for Bucky. You don't really get that much. So yeah, this is the back of the seat. As you can see, you do have a nice sleeve over there where you can store some things. And then this is the door panel. As you can see, you have a nice chrome handle right, o uh, yeah, right over there. Your electric window, a speaker, and some storage with a cup holder. So it's quite good. The material is plastic just like the front so then you do have a light up here which is quite good very generic looking and then you also do have rear handles right over there so it is quite cool so then talking about the quality at the back here same exact as the front same seats same materials here and stuff the reason why i do that is because some manufacturers do use more inexpensive materials at the back compared to the front but over here is the same as the front so the rear passengers experience the same pleasure as the front passengers so then over here this is the carpet quality it's quite bad you will have a really tough time cleaning these carpets so you so you you do need to have some mats on top or else you will not be able to clean those carpets up so this is the side of this ford ranger and as you can see this very aggressive looking with this aftermarket bumper if you ever buy a ranger that is one of the first modifications that needs to get fitted on it just transforms the look of this car it makes you feel like the bus so let us begin with the brakes and tires this car does have 17 inch alloy mags with drums at the back and discs at the front so this is where manufacturers usually cut costs with the back brakes they normally put the drums and this is the same with the wild track so even the highest spec ranger comes with drums at the back so you cannot get discs at the back so since this is a 3.2 you do get this this very nice chrome handles as this is the XLT with your chrome mirror caps with your indicators located on the mirror it's not like the 2.2 xl which comes with the <laughs> indicators on the side over there you do have some fake grillings over here but it does give the car a more aggressive look especially with the chrome surrounding this little bidding so even that you do have your tinted smash and grab windows right over there and since it is the XLT, you do get this very nice bar over here, which does say Ranger. Then you also do have some hooks over here for a tonal cover. And since this is a 4x4 variant, you do get your 4x4 stickers right over there. And looking from the side of this car, you can see the chrome bumper right over there. So it is quite nice. Since this is also the XLT, you do get a nice side step right over there in chrome to match your mirror caps your handles and your chrome over here i think it's a quite a nice well designed car i don't like the mags but mag wheels can easily be changed for something else i think that's a must for this car but everyone has different tastes i don't really find the mags as aggressive looking as the rest of the car 
so finally my opinion on this car is I think this is a great car for its price you can go off-roading you can do all sorts of things it's a reliable car it has power it's comfortable and it does a job quite well however you can get it for much lower price than retail price and since the facelift version 2016 and above is out there I would recommend you getting the 2016 and above but if that's not on your budget I think this is a great car for its price range it is very nice looking it does have the style the cool factor and the fun factor especially with this very high suspension you can go anywhere with this car what's not to love so for the daily scores I get a score 4 for futures 6 for comfort 5 for quality 9 for practicality and 10 for value which means a total of 31 out of 50 for the daily scores now for the weekend scores I get a score 7 for styling 4 for acceleration 10 for handling 8 for fun factor and 8 for cool factor which means a total of 34 out of 50 for the weekend scores so the total on cover score for this car is a well deserved 65 out of 100 so if you have stayed to this part of the video thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did remember to smash the subscribe button like button and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upcoming video like this what is your thoughts on this car i'd love to know your opinion down in the comment section below so have a great day as always and i'll see you in my next video goodbye coming up next on young cars I will be reviewing this Faces for the version of the Double Cab Ranger 2.2 XL. So stay tuned.